Joining me is former Hereford United striker Steve White. Steve, you joined Hereford August 94 from Swindon. Was it an easy decision to come to Edgar Street? Um, well, it was. As, yeah, as far as the football club is concerned, I came up there and had a look at the surroundings and that and met uh, Greg Downs and the chairman. And, um, yeah, we, we, they, they sort of sold it to me over dinner and Greg had his uh, cigar there uh, and, and he was uh, smoking away a pint of beer. <laughs> My joy here, a friendly little football club and the chairman and that, uh, they were all around the table. Um, but yeah, I soon got the notion that it was a great little club. I had an opportunity to go to Plymouth at the same time. Peter Shilton had been uh, um, in for me. I'd had uh, serious discussions with him as well. Um, but uh, geographically... Uh, from where I lived in Bristol, uh, the easier thing was to go to Hereford. Um, but I was very close to signing for Plymouth at that time. But um, Hereford, uh, you know, they offered me a two-year contract, and the terms were were, were, were quite good. So you know, it, it uh, made the decision. But the overriding factor was the you know the friendliness of the club, the people of the club, and um, you know they, they 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 made it clear they really wanted me to to, to, to join their their their, their pro, push for promotion. You had two seasons at Hereford. Are there any matches that stick out in the memory for you? Um, yeah, quite a few, actually. I mean, that's just talking about uh, Plymouth there, we, we played in the second season I was there. I scored three against them in, 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 in at Edgar Street uh, in the 3-0 victory. That was, that was a, a, a sweet... Uh, a sweet hat trick, and um, you know uh, that sort of sticks in the memory. Yeah, that was that was a great game. Obviously, you had uh, were involved in the playoffs, and um, unfortunately, didn't uh, didn't make it through. Um, but yeah, I had a great great um, great set of lads there. Dean Smith, who's now manager of Brantford, he was a captain, and uh, uh, you know some some good players there. And played a five three two system, and um, really enjoyable times. Towards the end of the 95-96 season, you just went on a, a real fantastic run of scoring goals from the March onwards. Why do you think that was? Yeah, I mean, strangely, I actually, although I scored a lot, a lot of goals in my career, 275 around that figure uh, come the end, um, strangely, when I was younger, uh, you... I don't say naive, but centre forward is a very specialist position and uh, the most difficult position on the pitch. Um, but you, you, you tend to, when you're younger, younger and you have the legs, uh, so to speak, and I had legs, uh, you tend to do a lot more work outside the box sometimes when you can save the energy. But when I was uh, 36, when I came to Hereford, I think uh, between 94 and 96, 36, 37, Amazingly, I, I was still able to get that many goals. I think that was the most goals I scored in one season, 33 in that year. It was just a fantastic year. Everything felt well for me. I had no injuries. Um, but I have this theory now but with certain former players that as, as, you, as you get older, you learn better how to, to play between the, 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 the parameters of the 18-yard box, not waste too much energy. And because your legs are not as good as they were, you probably aren't able to give that extra energy. Um and, um, you know, I was always able to finish with my left foot or right foot, not so good in, in, in the air, but um, and, and hit first-time shots and get between people inside that six-yard box up to 12-yard within the penalty area. Um, and I was able to find space. It's more, it becomes more instinctive the, the more games you play as, as a footballer and, and in that specialist position. Um, you know, you learn you learn how to work things out. You learn how to, to save energy, as, as I've said, and, and um, get the better of your opponent. Did you find that Graham Turner managed you well in that respect? Yeah, I think, he, I mean, a great respect uh, for Graham. All the players had. He's obviously had a, an excellent um, uh, stint as manager at various clubs and uh, Wolverhampton being one. And, um, yeah, I think he, he understood that the older players needed, uh, you know, not quite so much uh, uh, training maybe and a, a little more rest and how to how to manage us in a, in a way that uh, would get the best out of us and, and, and allow us to peak uh, on a Saturday. Was it a tough decision to move to Cardiff at the end of that season? Um, yeah, difficult. I mean, they they give me a, a good contract when I went to Hereford. I I have to say, and um, you know, it was a two way thing. I, hopefully, I delivered the goods. Um, and you know, I'm, I was 30, 38, 37, 38, unbelievably. 
walking around a football pitch. <laughs> and so, yeah, I don't think uh, there would have been uh, an often uh, tell for a, a similar terms. And um, Cardiff um, were were able to, to give me a two-year contract. I wanted to still keep playing. I was chasing that three-goal um, mark, which I didn't quite get to. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, and, and, and in itself, Cardiff, you know, have always been a, a great football club and uh, and uh, great supporters there. And uh, and isn't it good to see them uh, back in the, in the Premier League? So was it a case of Hereford not wanting you then that summer? Uh, I don't think it was a question of not wanting me. I think, you know... Uh, when you're a pro, you're you're, uh, you're 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 very aware of the fact that um, you know it's often the case that uh, players don't stay longer than sort of two or three years at, at one club, um, and you know t- it was time to move on. And uh, the situation has changed, don't they, with the manager's thoughts? He wanted younger legs. I mean, my, I was just about uh, legless by that time. <laughs> you know, it's very very difficult to keep up the. The, the regime that I had training regime uh, when he's 37, 38 years of age and um, I think Hereford probably got the best best out of me At Hereford FC now there's a striker called John Mills um, do you know much about him? I've seen him play a couple of times uh, when he was at Didcot and uh, obviously understand that he's on those for goals um, and well, as I was just explaining before you know his ability to get p- between people in the box, and he has uh, he's always had good centre forward par- partners playing with him to take the take the brunt of it, so to speak. And he's Johnny on the spot, isn't he? And uh, he's got a, a phenomenal goal scoring record. And um, long may it continue. He's obviously uh, he knows where the back of the net is. Hereford FC have made it three promotions in a row. Do you still keep up to date with all things Edgar Street? <sighs> Well, I think any of your previous clubs that you played for, and I've had five or six or seven, um, you know, when you scan down the the, 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 the league tables on on a Sunday, <laughs> the first thing you do is check the ex clubs you played for. Strangely, and uh, you think, well, yeah, they're doing quite well, or yeah, they could do with a bit of help. And um, and uh, of course, Hereford are, are one of those clubs that I played for. I have a great uh, love. An affection for the football club. The supporters there were brilliant to me when I was when I was a player there, and um, have great affection for the, for Hereford. And of course, uh, the way Peter Beadle has um, has took them through the last three seasons is just phenomenal. His CV you know, is uh, probably one of the best in the country, isn't it? And even though he's operating at a lower level, the principles of management are just the same at that level or, or, or any other level. And uh, he has that day to day. Uh, thing with recruitment and uh, uh, you know player uh, training the players and making sure um, the, the tactics are right and uh, all geared towards the Saturday. So it's it's no different. I know Peter. I've met him a couple of times. Saw him last year at Bristol Rovers too, and um, he's done a phenomenal job. And I have to say, uh, you know, he's not above himself, is he? He's some of these football nowadays. They get so uh, wrapped up in their own self-importance. I just can't. Be, doing with that and um, uh, Peter is certainly not one of those uh, humble person and uh, uh, done a fantastic job at, at, at Hereford. You're still involved in football with a little bit of work at Swindon Town can you talk through what you do? Yeah I'm much uh, summariser for BBC Wiltshire and I've covered most of their home games and uh, a, a, a number of away games do about half of their fixtures through the season and um, yeah that takes up a fair bit of my time Saturdays if we're travelling away um, but yeah it's just quite enjoyable just keep your hand in e- easy easy pickings isn't it but uh, no doubt uh, one day uh, I feel like returning to to, 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 to football in a in a more uh, uh, hands on role maybe but the trouble is when you're when you're my age your, your time's running out and you think uh, you know you, we, we've all got an ego haven't we and we think we can do a job or, or do a job as good as, as X, Y or Z manager um, but when you're in the hot seat uh, sometimes uh, things become difficult and uh, but always uh, always wondering if uh, you know I should come back into the game in some capacity 